Today there is no obedience and reverence of nature whatever in anybody. They couldn't care less about the law of God. This movement arose, I could say, organically. There were people beginning to have the same realization that we need to readjust and redesign. What was really fun about it was that incredible sense of, hey, we can discover this. What is this thing? Let's do this thing. There's no hostile enemies for these beautiful little microbes living in that little... Uh, it felt good to do the right thing. We were going to grow good food. We were going to feed our friends and our families. And we were going to do the best thing we could for the environment. We're the group that put the culture back in agriculture. The local newspaper actually wrote an editorial that it was a communist conspiracy <laughs> to overthrow the American food chain to question farm chemistry. We were the hottest thing in the market. We had enough organics now that we could convert uh, mass market supermarket people into organics. How we treat the food is symbolic really of how we treat the earth and how we treat ourselves. You're closer to that magic of how food is actually really grown. Nothing compares with the magnitude of what soil can do for sequestering carbon back out of the atmosphere and back into the soil where it used to be. Soil is the biggest single answer to climate change.